Hi everyone, I wanted to put together a quick video of my 1971 Westphalia restoration from buying it all the way till it's done and we're cruising at the beach. So we picked it up in Ventura. Uh, it was already a runner for the most part, brakes didn't work, uh, it had been sitting a while. Um, but if you look at the interior right here, it was just beautiful. Like the interior alone for me was a selling point. Plus being an upright motor, I figured worst case, uh, buy another motor or something, you know, brakes, pretty simple to do, very inexpensive. Um, so we picked it up, uh, towed it home. And here I'm just doing a little walk around of how nice the interior actually was, but I am going to take it all out. I'm going to take it out and drop it off at the uh, upholstery shop. And the next step would be taking it down to have the body work repaired, which usually can take a while, and then eventually have it painted. So this is just a nice, slow little walk around of how nice the interior was. Um, it did have some rips though. So one of those things where I wanted it to be super nice, as you'll see later on in the video, uh, with no rips, beautiful, clean, brand new interior, new foam. Um, new cushions in the front, um, ripping out all this old interior. The interior is so old that it basically, like the curtains when you moved it, would drop dust out of it. So that's something that we had to, uh, you know, take into consideration. Might as well change the foam, change everything if it's something that you really love and want to enjoy. So walking around it, it's got the interior table. Uh, the top pops right up there. And there's a hammock to the right right here that if you pull it out, you can actually lay up there. So one person hammock. Um, really cool. Uh, 1971, 69 and 68 had the one hammock, I believe. Uh, I think 1972 also had the hammock. So um, they changed it up in 73. There's my little boy there. He loves to help me out. It's great help. Super great help. And um, after this... Uh, just a little quick video right here of how you get that front seat out. I don't know, I think I just thought it'd be interesting to share. It's uh, super simple, just uh, lifting up this, the front part where you sit, you lift it right up and the seat just pops right out. Some of you VW bus guys will already know that, but I uh, wanted to share it with people. Um, and then you just find some interesting things sometimes. Uh, this one actually had an old pack of Camel cigarettes in there. I don't know how long that has been there, but uh, you find interesting things. I found a harmonica in this one, uh, some beer cans, uh, a very, very old Pepsi can, which is super cool. It's probably not too old, maybe from the 90s, but kind of neat to see. Uh, here it is, all gutted out for the most part, and then uh, right off to the paint shop and body. And then that's when I realized I don't have any seats, so. Uh, plan B, put a tire underneath there, and it was local anyway, so I drove it only a few miles away from where I live. So, just a little video there of uh, how it looked when I got to the shop. Took out the windows, um, cut the edges of the window rubber so when you paint it, it'd be fine. And a little walk around here. Here's some of the rust repair it needed. Um, some of this uh, portion here on top had to be. Uh, removed just so they could fix some of the body damage that it had some small bubbling of rust that had to be cut out so top had to come off uh, walking around it uh, this point here it's pretty much almost ready for paint it needed to be sanded still uh, taking out the tail lights uh, door handles and things like that uh, before the spray front bumper of course comes out and um, it was a nice little walk around before it actually got shot with some spray. And uh, it's good to document that because uh, now it's completely different. And uh, here we go. This is an L31H Shanty Red, an original color for it. Picked up the interior. Look at that. Nice and fresh, clean, new uh, cushions tires i sanded an old pair of rims that i had the tires were already shot worthless so sanded them like that took them down to the tire shop they went ahead and did a mount and balance they're ready to go 
So by the time the bus got home from paint and body, I slapped these tires on right away. And it made such a difference to see. Here is a little cleanup, little tip that I wanted to share. Lime away, you can get that just about anywhere. Steel wool at Home Depot. And it just takes all the old uh, water, hard water off of it and brings the chrome back to life. Not only that, it gets the rust off too. You, you'll see right here. So if you've got an old Volkswagen bus, you might wanna consider, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to uh, use some of that and get it nice and clean. Get it nice and clean. So here we go. Uh, this is it right here. I picked up some parts that I needed, turn signal lenses, rubber window seals, all the necessary rubber seals. Sliding door mechanism was uh, shot on this one. It wouldn't really open, so we had to replace that. Uh, great deal on wood, uh, 12 bucks for wooden flooring. Look at that, check that out. You basically take all the interior out, slap these things together, put the interior right back on it. Looks beautiful. And I didn't quite get a chance to document how to install the pop top tent. You can see the ladder right there. Uh, I got a little too ahead of myself, too excited, forgot to videotape that. Uh, but it was pretty simple, pretty easy. Here you see it with some of the accessories on it and coming together. This here is all the interior back in. Uh, one of the first times I got it back on the road um, in somewhat done condition. I, I'm still doing little here and there things to it as far as like minor cleaning details, but I took my son for a ride, uh, locked in the, the back car seat, and uh, here we are at a local park. I'm just doing a nice little walk around of it, of how it eventually came out with the window rubber seals back in, all the new turn signals, all the new accessories like the rear view mirror, uh, the beautiful brand new tires with the clean caps, the new tent, um, the beautiful sanded and painted bumper, the bumper steppers, new rubber seals, of course, uh, and it came out really nice. The back there are uh, aftermarket scoops. The bus already had kind of this uh, area there for it, so I just decided I'm gonna keep it. I don't wanna mess with uh, what's already been done. The motor ran fantastic, so I, I wanted to keep it that way. Uh, original black license plates. This is a second owner bus. The guy had it for so many years. All he did was take it out on the weekends and go surfing. Um, and then it just got to the point where he couldn't really drive it anymore. Um, and it just sat. So here we are after all of that, all of that work, here we are finally cruising PCH in Orange County, California, um, Huntington beach area. And we're just kind of cruising here, probably 50 miles an hour or so. And a uh, nice little view of the coast there. Um, and it all came together uh, from sitting in the driveway to being used again and looking beautiful. This thing gets to live another, I don't know, 30 years or so and be on the road, hopefully. So uh, very nice. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is pretty much the end result here. Uh, just right there, my, my son and wife enjoying the coast view in the back of the bus that we worked hard for so it's nice uh it's very doable uh, i'd love to answer any questions anyone has about it um subscribe do the like button and uh ask me questions i'd love to help people out and get theirs done just like this it it was uh not very time consuming uh, it didn't cost a whole lot of money um and uh it's in my opinion, worth it. These nice, relaxing weekends where you can just cruise and uh, enjoy a bus and relax in it, pull the Z-bed out, lay down, look at the coast. There she is right there. 1971 Westphalia pop top bus. And this is what it's all about right here. When I went to go pick it up in the beginning, this was the vision I had. I'm like, one day, Soon, I'm going to be doing this. Just going to be hanging out. Beautiful. Again, if you like the video, subscribe. Click the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It always helps. And I've got plenty more buses coming up. Uh, 1973 next. Westie. And uh, just stay tuned. Yeah, all I do is buses.